Hi guys, welcome to this uh, lesson on uh, using trig to find an unknown angle in a right angle triangle. Okay, for this lesson we're going to be using all the trigonometric ratios. 10 equal to opposite over adjacent, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. You'll need to know all them. If you, have, if you don't know them, go check them out on our webpage www.schoolmate.com and go and have a look at how to use them. All right, let's have a look at a quick example. Here's a right angle triangle. It has a side of six centimetres and a side of 10 centimetres. Okay, now our first rule is to make sure you look at the angle. So looking at this angle here, theta, that we're trying to find, what are we given? We're given an opposite side and a hypotenuse. Okay, so in our head, we need to be thinking which one uses opposite and hypotenuse. And that is an easy answer, it's sine. Okay, so therefore, write the formula down. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Step two then is to substitute in. So sine of angle theta is equal to six over 10, which is our hypotenuse. All right, we then need to do some rearranging. We need to get theta by ourselves. So to do that, our calculator has a pretty cool function, which is like second function. Some calculators are called inverse. All right, if you're unsure, ask your teacher at school and they'll be able to show you. But what we end up needing to do is the second function of sine, that's why I have this little minus one up here, okay, of that six divided by 10. Now there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can just do 6 divided by 10 in your calculator, press equals, leave that answer in there, hit second function, and it'll give you this answer. Or, second function sine, bracket, 6 divided by 10, bracket, hit equals, get our answer. And hopefully, step 3 answer, you will get to 36.87 degrees, which I've rounded up to be 37. If you're unsure about this calculator usage, make sure you're asking your teacher for understanding. Let's have another look at a real another quick example here. So we've got a side of 22 metres and a side of 16 metres. So step number one, or rule always, is look at the angle. Looking at that angle, we're given an opposite. And the 22 is our adjacent side. So in your head, which one of those uses opposite and adjacent? And that is really easy, it's a tan sum, okay? So, write the formula down. Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tan of that angle theta is therefore equal to 16 over 22, okay? Got to get theta by itself, so we're going to do that second function, bizo again. Second function, tan, 16 divided by 22, gives us our answer of 36 degrees, which I ran it down straight away. Alright, here's a couple of practice questions for you that I'll get you to have a go at. Just write them here. Practice number one is a triangle, right angle triangle. Okay. Angle up the top. A side of 37 and a side of 75. Practice number two. Right angle triangle, angle down the bottom, side of 88 and 58. So go away, have a go at these two practices, come back in five minutes and we'll go through the answers. Hi, welcome back. I uh, hope you've had a good go at these and uh, let's just see how you went. Our uh, first one was a uh, right angle triangle, put that in there, angles up the top, 37, 75. Okay, first things first, look at the angle, what are we given? We're given an adjacent and a hypotenuse, so which one is it we're doing a cos sum? Cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, step two, substitute in, alright, cos theta is equal to 37, which is our adjacent, over 75, which is our hypotenuse. Got to change that around to get theta by ourselves, so we're going to do second function cos 37 over 75, which will bring us to step three, our answer. 
which is 60.44 degrees, which we've rounded down to be 60 degrees. All right, so give yourself a tick if you got that one right. All right, the next one again, right angle triangle, angle down the bottom this time. We've got 58 at the top and 88 here, okay? Looking at the angle, opposite hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse means that we're doing a sine sum. So step one, write the formula down. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Step two, substitute in. Sine theta is equal to 58 over 88. Doing the second function again, second function sine, okay, gives us our step three answer of 41.23 degrees, which again, we've rounded down to equal 41. So if you've got that one, give yourself a tick as well. Thanks for joining us, okay? We'll see you again. Check out our other videos at www.schoolmate.com. See you later.